Hi guys, welcome back to another video from Cichlid Bros. Today, we're unboxing live fish from Imperial Tropicals. We've ordered from them in the past and we'll give a quick review of that order at the end of this video. We're very excited to show you what we got today, so let's dive right in. So we just got the shipment in about 10 minutes ago from Imperial Tropicals. We try to support our local fish stores as much as possible, but we couldn't find these specific fish anywhere, so we had to order online. We had this overnight shipped, as it's currently winter in Chicago, so there should be limited stress on the fish. So let's open this guy up. So when you open this up, you'll see that the package is in a styrofoam box. There's a little card here with Imperial Tropicals. And then when you take off the styrofoam lid here, you'll see that they pack this firmly with insulation foam, as well as a little heater wrapped up in newspaper. This is always very well done from Imperial Tropicals. It keeps the package very warm, even when it's winter condition outside. And now we can start taking out the insulation foam and get these fish out of the box. So the first guy here is a beauty. This is a red shoulder severum. I bought this unsexed at 2.5 inches and it looks to be a great size. I just love severums since they get so big and colorful, but they aren't too aggressive. I already have a big red spotted severum, so he will eventually be a part of this new group. And on that note, here's the other fish in the order. This is the turquoise severum, or Heros fasciatus. I bought this one as unsexed at two inches long, and he does appear right around that range, so I'm happy with that. If you aren't familiar, you typically pay more the larger the fish is, so I'm happy I got what I paid for in that regard. Both fish seem to be doing very well, and after rinsing the insulation foam off the bags, we're ready to float these guys and then pop them right in. We'll get a better look at them once they're in the tank. So we start by floating these guys, and we actually recommend against drip acclimating fish when they've been in a bag this long. The fresh oxygen can cause the water they're in to become toxic very fast, so it's usually best to plop them in right away. We'd still recommend drip acclimation for fish that haven't been in a bag like this for such a long period of time. So these were double bagged, Imperial Tropicals does such a good job packaging fish. After a little water spill here from the outside bag, we get these guys plopped and dropped fairly quickly. Overall, we're really happy with this order from Imperial Tropicals. The fish were accurately sized and we feel that we got what we paid for. It did take a few days for them to ship this out as they typically quarantine fish a few days before sending. Another thing to note is if you're ordering during the winter season, you'll likely need to order overnight shipping. I was happy to do this to keep the fish less stressed, and with all the costs considered, we feel like we got great value through Imperial Tropicals, and we would recommend them for anyone else. When adding new fish to a tank, we would recommend using Seachem Stress Guard, as this helps the fish acclimate with less stress. So here's the red shoulder severum. He seems to be doing very well, and we can't wait to see him grow up and mature. And here's the turquoise severum. He's already eating, both fish are. They're eating on the first day, seem very healthy, and are just eating a ton. So we'll leave you with some more footage of the new guys in this tank. 
We hope you enjoyed the video. We really appreciate you sticking around and watching. We'll see you on the next one.